Hi guys, and welcome to another interesting video. We have this question right here, and we want to figure out the value of x. Before we start, you know the deal already. Pause the video and give it a try first. And if you are done, let's get right into it. In fact, this question is pretty much simple because we have this right here. What we will basically do is that we take square root on each side of the equation. Plus or minus is important. This and that will go, and we are left with x is equal to plus or minus 9. And we are done. No, this is absolutely wrong. Check this. This right here is never equal to x squared. Therefore, we cannot take square root on each side of the equation. This is a titration question, remember? And this is how it is read. x titrated to 2 or x raised to superpower 2. That is what it means, and this is never x squared. So if you do it this way, I'm sorry to say you are absolutely wrong. This question right here actually means that we have x raised to the power x, and this is equal to 81. Basically, this is the meaning of the question. So now that we have this, I'm sure we can easily solve. What we need to do first is that we have to drop this power down. And to do that, we need to introduce ln on each side of the equation. Let me put this in parentheses, just like that. And of course, this power right here will come to the front so that we will have x ln of x, and this is ln of 81. Pretty nice, huh? And now, check this. We are looking for x. All the x's are found on the left-hand side of the equation. But still, it seems there's a problem. Because of the ln right here, there's a problem. It's like we are caged and we need emergency exit. And remember, whenever we need an emergency exit, you have to be thinking about Lambert W function. This function is pretty nice to me because if you have any function like this, t times e to the power t, as soon as we take Lambert W function on this, we we'll still be getting our t back. Like the example that I did previously, if you have anything at all, it can be anything times e raised to the power that thing. Then if you take Lambert W function on this, you still be getting that thing back as that. Pretty interesting one. But look at this. This right here must always be e. If you look at the equation right here, we don't have e in this, but we can basically bring it. Check this out. I'll see this x right here as e raised to the power ln of x, simply because this e and then this ln won't do each other, and we'll be left with just x. Then times ln of x right here, and this is equal to this is equal to ln of 81. Cool. Now permit me to bring this ln to the front right here so that it will look just like this one, t e to the power t. So let me do that really quick. We have ln of x e to the power ln of x. This time they are the same. And this is equal to ln of 81. And now that this is of this form, we can easily take Lambert W function on each side of the equation just like this. And now on the left-hand side, we'll be left with just ln of x, and this is equal to the Lambert W function of ln of 81. As simple as that. I'm going to get rid of this quickly. Now let me write it here. ln of x is now equal to the Lambert W function of ln of 81. Now check this. We are looking for only x and not ln of x. How can we get rid of this ln? Now to get rid of this ln, we need to take e on each side of the equation again. So that this e won't do this ln, then on the left hand side we'll be left with this x. So we have our x here nicely like that. Then the right hand side is going to be e to the power the Lambert W function of ln of 81. And that is our final answer to the problem. But in fact, we can rewrite this in different form. The first form is like this. x is equal to ln of 81 divided by the Lambert W function of ln of 81. 
or if you like to write it so in this form, let's say it's an objective test. Maybe you wouldn't be seeing these answers, but you'll be seeing e raised to the power lambda to w function of now 81 is the same as 3 to the fourth power, which could also be written as 4 ln of 3. Yes, let me use the red marker, 3. So all these answers right here are the same. Now check this. To compute any of these, you will need Wolfram Alpha. If you use Wolfram Alpha for any of these, you are going to get x approximately equal to 3 points. Let me check for you. 504. This is what you are going to get using Wolfram Alpha. And don't forget to check out how the graph of this function is going to look like. This is it right here. I hope you found the video useful. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. For those of you who like to show me love, I have my PayPal down in the description down below and also in the comment section down below. See you again on the next video. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.